Hey guys, Britta Albert here. If this is your first time here, I am a spiritual transformational life coach, and my goal for this channel is to help you overcome the obstacles that are standing in the way of you living your best and most authentic life. Now, whenever we learn something new, we love to share what we've learned with the world. We love to share it with our friends. We love to share it with our family. We love to share it with our social media communities. We love to share our knowledge with each other. And that's one thing about being human that is absolutely beautiful and remarkable. However, we can be very protective of our beliefs. There are many reasons why we believe the things that we believe. Either we're raised to have certain beliefs or we've come into our beliefs on our own through experiences or through interactions with others. So a lot of times with our beliefs, we can tend to be very protective of them. Now, one of the things that I wanna help everybody with today is communicating your beliefs effectively with others. Now, tell me if this sounds familiar. You either being or hearing somebody who is religious speaking to somebody who is not religious. And both sides firmly believe what they believe. Now, under normal circumstances, these two may be friends. But when the subject of religion comes up or non-religion comes up, they can tend to get a little bit heated. And you hear words thrown around like ignorant or stupid. So, when people are trying to express their ideas and beliefs and explain them to other people, the moment that they hear the word stupid or ignorant, then it's automatically going to throw walls up. People are not going to be open to hearing your perspective if you're starting a conversation or even midway in the conversation attacking their intelligence. It's just conversation is over. And we see this so much on the internet. People get so heated, they get so, oh my gosh, bring in politics, Lord have mercy. You get so passionate about what you believe and why you believe it, that we stop explaining why we believe what we believe and instead attack the intelligence of the people that we're trying to convey our beliefs to. It's one thing to sit down and have a pleasant cup of coffee with somebody and just talk about your different beliefs and why. Why do you believe what you believe? I'm open and receptive to hearing your story. I may not believe what you believe, but I don't judge you for believing what you believe. And I also believe that I can share what I believe without your judgment on my beliefs. That is a completely different conversation. That is a healthy conversation. That is a respectful conversation. And you walk away, both parties walk away from that conversation feeling like they have a good friendship. Now, if both parties walked into that conversation and started being defensive of their beliefs, what does it change? Does it change? Do they, do they successfully change the mind and opinion of the person that they're speaking to? Absolutely not. And not only by insulting the intelligence of the person that you're trying to convey your belief system to, they feel you are actually less intelligent because why would you need to insult their intelligence in order to convey your message? So then the authenticity of your own belief system is less credible. Do you see how this pattern plays out? So if you want to share your beliefs with people, and you are excited and you are happy or you have your beliefs for whatever reason that you have them, do not insult the intelligence of the person that you are speaking to. This should be common knowledge, but unfortunately we see this over and over and over again, especially on social media. So how do you successfully convey your beliefs and convictions to other people? Well, like I said, you do it respectfully. You do it out of love. And at the end of the day, the only thing that you can claim that you know to be true is that you believe what you believe and why you believe it. So the only thing that you can say is, I personally believe this because if somebody attacks you, even though you may feel triggered that it's unfair, you're a victim, 
all of the above. Remember, you are not a victim. There's nothing that they can do or say that can actually hurt you. You are in control of you. You do not need to respond. You do not need to continue a conversation with that person. If they don't have ears to hear, they're not open to hearing your message. And that's okay. Love them where they're at and understand that whatever they believe is holding them back from being open to hearing what you believe. And when people are held back or they're holding themselves back from hearing what other people believe, they're just absolutely not open to hearing what somebody else's beliefs are. It is 100% because their beliefs are a fear-based system. Believe it or not, there are some belief systems out there that teach the doctrine. If you learn about other religions or if you learn about things that are outside of your current belief system, you can actually lose your salvation. That you can be kicked out of that organization. Now, is that all of them? Absolutely not. But you never know who you're talking to, especially if they're not a close friend of yours. And if they are a close friend of yours and they respond that way, you should know why they're responding that way. Love them where they're at. They're not at the place that you're at. They're not at the level of understanding that you're at. If they were, they would be open to listening to you. Again, they don't have to believe what you believe. They don't have to subscribe to the same belief systems that you believe. They don't have to call it the same things. That's okay. They can respect you and love you where you're at as well. And they can feel the same way about you. That I believe that you believe this and I respect that you believe this. I don't personally believe this and this is why. I believe in this. And there you go. That's how you effectively have a conversation with somebody about what your beliefs are. And if somebody is not open to hearing what your beliefs are, that's okay. It's not personal. If they want to make it personal, understand that that's their defense mechanism. Let it go. Do not engage. I don't need to be saying this, but unfortunately I need to be saying this. I guess a better term is I wish I didn't have to say this, but I know we're all guilty of this. Even if you are not now, I'm sure there was a time in the past where you did engage with somebody that you wish you didn't engage in. This is a part of life. This is a part of growing up. This is a part of us learning. We've all said things out of ignorance, unknowingly. You learn from it or you don't. But you do not need to engage when somebody is hostile and you surely do not need to be hostile back to them. All it will do is discredit you, discredit your beliefs that you are trying to share and it's gonna create a rift between you and that person. Now, if it's somebody that you don't care about, maybe no loss, but what does it cost you inside? Because you're going to know, you're going to feel that you have compromised your own integrity and that's not going to feel well. That's something that you are going to have to process through and you're gonna to have to forgive yourself of. We're not perfect and you don't have to be. You're perfectly imperfect because what is perfection but a standard that somebody else set. So don't hold yourself to certain things. However, ask yourself what serves you and what does not serve you. What serves this person and what does not serve this person. An argument with this person is not going to serve me, nor is it going to serve them. It will not help us communicate our beliefs. It will not help us understand each other better. It will create a rift between the two of us and it will make you feel bad. So I hope this helps you communicate your beliefs with other people and understand where they're coming from as well. When somebody wants to share their beliefs with you, you can listen to them and you can love them where they're at, regardless if you believe them or if you don't. But don't be so quick to judge because you might learn a thing or two from them. And same thing, if you are excited about something new that you've learned and you want to share it with people, don't be brokenhearted or offended if they don't want to hear what you have to say. Understand that they're not in the same place that you're at. They don't think the same way that you think or they're not ready to hear what you have to say. And that's okay. 
Love them where they're at, respect where they're at, and you will feel much better about yourself at the end of the day. Y'all have a wonderful evening. Thank you for spending this evening with me. I appreciate you all. If this video resonated with you, please give it a like. And if you have not subscribed, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button and share this video with somebody that you think could really hear this message today. I will talk to y'all later. Mm -hmm.